Hi, Rimantas Podrauskas here. Welcome to this MetaTrader tutorial. And in this one, I'm going to talk about the investor password. So basically, I will tell you everything you need to know about the MetaTrade investor password, you know, what does it mean, uh, why we need it, where to find it, how to create it, how to change it, delete it, and, you know, uh, and, you know, if there will be any questions about investor password that you might have, and I'm happen to not answer them in this video, then just please post your comment below, ask the question, uh, or, you know, just um, contact us and, and just let us know, and we'll try to cover that in, you know, maybe next tutorial or sometime later. So, anyway, so let's begin. Uh, I will switch now to my MetaTrader account. So this is the MetaTrader account I was using uh, uh, for, you know, I'm using for my tutorial. So it's just a demo account uh, with the FX Open broker. I'm not endorsing FX Open or anything like that. Um, like I would say, I use FX Open because uh, mainly one of the reasons because their demo doesn't expire and uh, they allow easily to open accounts and just download MetaTrader platform directly from the website. You know, other brokers make it so complicated. So anyway, um, it's not about the FX Open or, or so. So I am using a um, demo account for this demonstration, but uh, just want to let you know all the same principles and everything I tell you in this tutorial will be, uh, you know, can be applied to a live trading account you know, basically any MetaTrader account you have, like live demo, you know, whatever, uh, like cent account, normal account, ECN account, whatever account you have, if it's MetaTrader 4, you can apply these principles, you know, of the, you know, uh, investor password to all MetaTrader accounts, regardless from what broker there are and so on. So first, let me answer what is an investor password. So, uh, to learn this, let me just tell you that MetaTrader has two passwords. So, uh, if we go to the file and login, uh, it says login to trade account. Uh, let me show this. Yeah, there's the screen. So, it shows the login, which is our MetaTrader account number. Um, and we also use it to log in to that MetaTrader account. And we use the password, which normally, you know, in kind of all the cases, like when you just create an account or, you know, you use the main password mainly. But, it ha you know, it can be that you might be given investor password by a broker, by a friend, by your colleague, by your you know, like service you're following trades from or your, 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 you know, trade manager, maybe someone's managing your account and they give you investor passwords so you can watch the trades in real time and so on. So third thing, you choose obviously the server. So for FX Open, there are just two options, which is also not confusing. Like, you know, the brokers have like 20 uh, of them there which makes them confusing but anyway you know we have a demo and live server so i will be using demo so um i'm logged in now with the main account so this means uh, main password sorry with the main password which means i have you know permissions to do all trading operations and anything that you can do with metatrader there so i can open trades i can open you know <clears throat> Uh, I can change them, I can see open, you know, everything, uh, I can use expert advisors and so on, you know. So, if we go to the mailbox and open the welcome message from the, uh, is it welcome? Oh, no, I, I, I think I don't see the registration, oh no, sorry, uh, I don't have a registration um, email there for this one. Not sure why, but usually MetaTrader sends an email there with the headline registration, and it usually has the investor password account. So that's uh, one way to find it. But 
Um, it happens so that some meta traders, apparently FX Open, one of them, just don't send that message. I don't know, maybe security reasons or whatever. So it's always, uh, you know, when I create an account, I always make a screenshot of all the accounts that I have and all the passwords. So that, you know, and I store them in my Dropbox. Let me show you. So I'll just do a quick trick. I just copy my MetaTrad account number. Let me find my uh, Dropbox now. Okay, so here's the folder. So I have a screenshots folder in the Dropbox and you know, you can see lots of lots of uh, images stored there. So basically each each of them is just, you know, MetaTrader password uh, to my various trading accounts. And you know, the file name basically is the MetaTrader account number or MetaTrader login, so to speak. So I'll just paste the account number uh, in the search and immediately I just find the the image that I need, you know, I want to want to open it. So here we see um, the investor password. Let me just try to increase it a bit. Here we go. So uh, let me do this another trick. I do the control R to open the run. Uh, command window and what I will do I will just copy basically type the investor password so it's like v2 uh, q v o b c okay so I will copy it I just click cancel on this one now I go to file login to trade account so obviously the login is, stays the same i'm logging in to the same account but this time using the investor password not the main one you can see i have two passwords there so it says login and password so the password is you know is the main password used for trading and all you know access with all the permissions and the investor password it says read only password, you know, it's called as well as a read only password because it will give a read only access, which means I won't be able to do any trading operations, just uh, just see the trade. So basically, that's where I would put it. So I can log in to the same account with either of these passwords and, uh, you know, uh, the permissions that I will get when I log into the account depends on what password I will use. So before I log in, I just want to make a quick uh, trade or some, you know, so I just open, let's say, uh, dollar Swiss franc, I just hit buy, um, I will add a comment like a testing investor password. Okay, just I open the trade. So obviously, uh, sorry, obviously I can I can modify it as well. So let's just add something like hundred pips, hundred pips there. So you know, obviously I have all the permissions, and now I will log in to the trade, the same trade account, but this time with the investor password. I click OK, uh, login, sorry. I keep, click login. Now I switch to journal to show you something. You can see it says uh, investor mode, trades are not allowed. When you see this in the journal, it means you are logged in as, you know, with the investor password. So it's like an investor mode you know, access or read-only access, or, you know, you can call it different names, but it's basically the same. So I'm not allowed to trade. Neither I, neither any expert advisor or anything that I run on this MetaTrader instance, you know, I can still have the same MetaTrader on another computer uh, trading, you know, by some like account manager maybe or expert advisor or whatever. Uh, but on this computer, like this instance we see on the screen now, I cannot make any trade. So let me show you. So here, if I turn on the comments, I can see that 
you know, it's the like testing Vesta password. It's the same trade that I just opened like a minute ago uh, in the same account when I was logged in with the main password. But this time uh, I'm logged in with investor password. If I, you know, want to open a trade, I cannot do that because new order button is disabled. So I cannot access it basically. You know, it means I cannot open the trade. If I go there, I you know, you can see there's no like uh, any menu option to, you know, close the trade or modify it or whatever. If I double click it, nothing happens as well. You know, there's no window in this mode to modify, close trade or open new ones. And, you know, if I, if I open a chart window, um, you know, there's no option as well. So basically, you cannot find any option to open a trade. So it, it's not gonna going to work basically. So uh, let me just, I wonder if I, if I make a trading robot to open a trade, just to give an example. But you know, basically uh, I don't have anything in, in, in hand here, but um, basically any trading robot that would try to open a trade, you know, even if the auto trading is enabled and everything's enabled, um, the EA will fail to do that because, you know, you can't open a trade in the investor mode, um, you know, when you logged in with the investor password. So basically, investor password, just, you know, to summarize, is a read-only access that you can, you know, give to anyone you want, like your friends, your colleagues, your, your family members, your clients, you know, your, and you can share the your trades this way, you know, so they can see a real-time um, trading, they can see your performance in the account, um, you know, they can maybe do some analytics with some software or whatever, you know, um, you know, so basically, I can also connect this account to my Fixbook, uh, you know, to to see the analytics on their website, and you know they require to to input investor password, even change it, uh, so you can prove that uh, it's you know you have ownership of the account. Because if you have just investor password, you cannot change that password, so it's not possible. If you go to tools and options. And we go to server tab. You can see that when I go to change this, uh, if I want to change a read-only or a master password, either of them, I need to input master password or, or main password, so to speak. So without the main password, I cannot change master password or investor password, you know. It cannot be done. So if if you you know give someone your investor password, you're completely safe that they cannot do anything without it, uh, with it basically, except just to see the trades and that's it. So so how to find your investor password? You know you already know. Just uh, when you create an account, just make a screenshot of it so we can find it later. If you don't have investor password or you forgot to save it or whatever, uh, or maybe your broker didn't provide it, you can go to tools options, you know, uh, in the server tab, click change, and then you get to this window. So you input current password there. So in this case, it would be this password. And you input investor password so you just you know choose like you want to change investor password so you input master password there and your investor password twice so if you don't have investor password you just think of any like six or eight symbols with letters and uh, and numbers and you input it right there and click ok if the password is too short or or you know or some something's wrong or you know they don't match you won't be able to change it but if the password is okay like you input uh, a new investor password uh, twice so you will be able to change it so if you want to delete the password that you know let's say you gave the password to a few uh, you know people and now you decided that you don't want to give 
access to your investor password anymore. So you just go there, change your investor password to a new password, something else that nobody knows. And, you know, this kind of means you deleted the investor password, the old one, and nobody has access and they should lose access quite immediately, like in a minute or so. So basically, uh, we already answered quite a lot of questions there. So, you know, we already know what it is, how to find it, how to log in or, you know, how to create it if you don't have it, uh, how to change it and delete it. So basically, that's it. What you need to know about the investor password. Um, just know that to create one or change or delete, one, you know, investor password, you need a main password. So when you logged in as an investor, you cannot make any trading. You cannot close, open or modify trades. So um, I feel like I'm repeating myself here. So <laughs> it's probably time to um, end this tutorial. So I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, if you want more tutorials, just go to my website at ea-coder.com um, and just register for more, you know, to my newsletter. So I create this. Um, monthly and you know sometimes weekly if I get a chance uh, so just stay tuned for more m4 tutorials and you know I'll see you in another video bye